Okay, so here I have a pretty nasty looking mixture of salt and sand, and what I'm going to do is separate it. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add water to it and use the stirring rod and shake it up until the salt is dissolved and the sand settles on the bottom. So I'll have salt water and some sand floating around. Then I'll filter it with this filter and fold the filter paper it over, over it and I'll filter it into this cup. The sand will get left behind in the filter paper and some sand will be left in the jar and I'll just have salt water left in the evaporating dish and then I'll put that on the Bunsen burner not Bunsen burner, I have an alcohol burner here I'll put that on the alcohol burner, light the burner and all the water will evaporate and I'll have salt left here and sand left in the jar and the filter okay so the first step is to pour some water in here to be able to dissolve the salt in the mixture Oops. Right, I'll cover it with this screw lid and shake it up. It seems we need more water. <laughs> I think that should be fine. Okay. And this looks okay. So, the second step is to uh, make the filter paper go into the filter. And the way I do that is I take a piece of filter paper, like a coffee filter, and I fold it in half. And I fold it the other way, again in half. And then I fold it the other two diagonal ways. So I have eight slices of filter paper. Like this. And then I'll fold this over here. Sort of like this. And I'll fold the same way here. So what I'm left with oops, is, well, actually, I folded wrong. <laughs> so once I folded the right way, what I'm left with is this funny looking thing. And that goes in the filter. And after that goes in the filter, put the evaporating dish here. And I'm just going to pour some of my concoction into here. Not too much. And let it filter out. It's fast in the beginning, but it gets very slow. I'm not going to filter out all of it because that would take way too long. I'm just going to take a small sampling of seawater, salt water here, and there will only be a little bit of sand left in the jar. I mean, in the filter. So I think this is about good enough to dissolve. It's not much, but I don't have that much time. And meanwhile, I'll just set this over here so that we can see the sand left in the jar at the end. Okay, and now we're going to set this over my tripod stand with a wire mesh that distributes heat. And I have this alcohol burner here and a match. And what I do with it is I uncap it, and I light the match, fire, light the alcohol burner, make sure the match is out, and carefully slide the alcohol burner under the dish. And sooner or later, Salt is be going to begin to form at the edges because the water is evaporating. Okay, so here's the epic end to our water evaporating awesomeness. You can see, hopefully, the water is bubbling and the water is getting out of all the salt. 
and there's going to be no more water in it, and just salt. We have to wait for all the water to get out, otherwise it's sort of half liquid salt. It's going to crackle and pop just like popcorn because all the water is evaporating very quickly. It looks just like popcorn. Okay, so now you can hear the sort of steam escaping. And after that's done, I'm going to take the alcohol burner out and cap it, which is soon. I think this is fine. The alcohol burner itself isn't hot, so I can touch it with my bare hands. And I'll cap the flame. But for the rest, I have to wear kitchen mitts. Okay, so now I'll tilt the salt right here and see if the camera can catch it. Okay, so there's a bunch of salt left in the jar. And then over here, we have the sand that was left in the jar after we filtered it. And there's a little bit of sand left, and after we, if after we filter more, we might be able to see more. But, yeah. And there's still some left in the jar.